Welcome back. Once upon a time, I promised you guys that I would do a screen mode video of the new mist, and then I never got around to it. So, um, I figured I could still try and do this, and I figured that um, I could do something that I normally don't do, because I don't really care most of the time, but it's mist, so. Which is um, Hunt for Achievements. And I only have three achievements left in this game, um, which are, um, if I can remember all the names, um, one is going to require me to play the entire game, we'll see if I end up doing that one, which is Stack Overflow, which is you have to collect all the red or blue pages, but not actually um, put them in the book. Um, the other two are a lot shorter. One is to... Um, get the good ending without ever touching a red or blue page, which is going to be easy. And the other is the speedy achievement, which is um, probably going to be a lot harder, because I think the timing on that is two minutes, which is uh, pretty quick. In the original, I think you could finish the game in like 50 seconds if you know what to do. But you can move a lot faster in the original, because you don't have to walk everywhere, it's just clicking through slideshows. Uh, so two minutes is apparently pretty hard. I did look up uh, some tips on how to do this, so we'll see if I'm able to get this done. So we're gonna start a new game. I don't care about my autosave. And we're gonna do the classic puzzle solutions, obviously, because otherwise this is going to be really, really hard. Um, without knowing, you know, what the fireplace solution is. Somebody calculate the odds of getting it right in one attempt. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, the questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. I think the timer doesn't actually start until you um, get to Mist Island. From what I've seen, um, if it does, then I'm screwed. I'm gonna try running a stopwatch while I'm doing this. I wanna do caps locks, I'm always running. And so, let's see if we can do this. Might not talk very much. And go. We've got to turn all the marker switches on. And that kind of stuff is going to screw me over. Alright, spaceship next. Now, from what I saw, it's actually easier to leave these for now and head to the clock tower, which we need to set to 240. Come on. And then while this animation is playing, we can do this one. Come on. You can tell I'm not a speedrunner. Uh, That's... No, I thought I got it. I don't think this is going to be the attempt. Especially not with that kind of stuff happening. If only this were real mist, I could wa run down the side there, but I don't think that works in... 
Uh, we don't have time for animations. I don't think that works in uh, this version. All right. Fireplace. Nope, we are too slow, and I apparently got the code wrong. What did I do? Oh, I see what I did. Okay. Well, we got the code wrong. So, it didn't really matter. Um, yeah, I, I put these in the wrong place. This is what it's supposed to look like. Let's at least get the uh, know-it-all achievement. Um. Excuse me? What am I doing wrong? Might be important to find out before trying this again. Should be it. Okay, it is. Interested to see when I'm editing the video what I actually did. Don't come here to die. Not, not yet. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend. This is no doubt have for me. Wait, we still don't have subtitles for the original videos? Wasn't that something they were going to end up doing, or did my subtitles get turned off? Um, nope, they're on. So, yeah, apparently we still don't have those. Oh, this game supports HDR. Which my monitor does too, but I can't record like that. Well, I can record like that, but it'll look, like ter look terrible. Um... Okay, well, we should be able to link to Dunny, at least. And... Nothing happened as of yet. Did you bring the page? You've done the right thing. I have a difficult choice to make. These 3D models still look awful. I realize that using the... Why is there a bit of hair floating right there? Do we have actually have to watch the whole... Or, equally possible, did I turn off, like, Steam messages? Let me take a look in Steam, actually. No, 23. Oh, there we go. There it went. We did have to wait for him to come back. Achievement unlocked. No at all. I think the speedrun achievement pops when you link to Dunny, not... Okay, well... That uh, is one of them. 
But the speedrun achievement is going to be complicated, I have a feeling. Alright, let me reset my stopwatch. If I had not screwed up the uh, fireplace code, I would have been about 10, 15 seconds slow, I think, based on what my stopwatch was saying. So let's start over. I'm definitely faster than my last attempt. What? I missed this one. God damn it. Alright, let's try again. Alright. Let's go get that page. What? What is happening? Did I just run past this one? I did run past this one. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Gears done. Gotta go for planetarium spaceship clock tower Generator room, cabin, clock tower, let's not forget the ship this time. Page. Yes, page. Alright. Gotta get the fireplace dialed in quickly and correctly in one try, preferably. Yes! Got it! First try. Okay, not really. I was expecting the timing to uh, mess me up a few times, but... What actually messed me up was the... You know, me being an idiot. But I got it! Yay! Alright, now we have one achievement left, and uh, at least for this one I won't need to rush. We're gonna stick with the classic solutions just to make things easier. Not that I remember all of them. Okay, heading back to Mist Island, and this time we can actually appreciate the... Uh, graphics here which I still think they did a pretty good job of of course I have like 
all the fancy bells and whistles turned on now that aren't all available when you're in VR mode, like ray tracing. Not that it's, you know, obviously noticeable. It's also been a while since I played this game in VR. Uh, we don't actually have to go down here, do we? Actually, I'll leave it on running. Save some time. Um, still no rhyme. I thought they said they were going to add that in an update, but not sure if that's still the plan. While the graphics in this game look very good, I'm still just not sure if this is really, you know, worth it as an upgrade if it weren't for the VR. Because the VR, obviously, does make everything worth it. Because playing this in VR was just so cool. I am so happy. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine is one of our sons. I suspect Agatha, but I shouldn't lead to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return, but if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, and erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Yep, didn't really need to watch that, but I just wanted to go in here. <laughs> um, looking forward to seeing what... Um, Selenitic looks like in this version because that one was just really cool in VR. So we'll see if ray tracing adds anything to that. Uh, we will need to turn all of these on as we did before. Just don't really care what order I do it in this time. Well, traditionally I start with Stone Ship, so I should probably start with that now. Um, it's not like I remember the dates or the symbols, <laughs> so let's just do this properly for now. We are going to skip the journals again, because, you know, I have read those many times. This isn't even the right journal. Um, this I still don't really like how it looks, like the burnt books are not convincing the way they were in the original. So yeah, my normal order starts with Stone Ship, which I think I did in the VR playthrough as well. So that's where we'll start for the constellations. It's like... Pretty sure this is one of the symbols. And then maybe Snake is one? I can't remember the third. I could be completely wrong. Let's go try. This is how not to play a mist game, by the way. Uh, so not I. Alright, Snake, I think, is one. Might be the bug. Or the anchor. Alright, and I think the maple leaf is one, so let's just try. There's nothing we need to do here, right? It's just once you get all three there it'll come up. It's not the bird, I know that. No? 
Yes, it was the bug. The constellations are bug and leaf and snake. I have not played this game in a very long time, and I have not uh, played the uh, VR version since the Let's Play, and that was on random, so that was not the, r the same solution. Um, but I still got it. Uh, we'll probably have to head into the tower at least once, I would think. Maybe not, because I remember 59 volts. I know the 240 because I just looked that up. And... Combination to the safe, I don't recall. So we'll have to go into the tower for the cabin, I guess. So we'll... Um, we'll do that at that point, I guess. Let's go into here, just because I can. But, um, what? That's not how a door should work. I hope they find a better solution for dynamic lighting in the Riven remake. Because it's not working great here. Um, I'm so excited for the Riven remake. I'm betting most of you are. I don't know if this is like actually supposed to be in here somewhere. Good luck finding it if so. It is a shame they got rid of the chair. It makes sense for VR usage, but um, it still makes this room a little less creepy feeling than the dentist chair look, I feel. Anyway. Okay, we've got access to stone ship anyway. So let's um go there, I guess. Uh, I remember the birds in the original mist. Just a little video playing in the corner of an image, and it looked so impressive back then. Playing the game in 1440p, um, not 4K, even though I do have a 4K monitor, because it just it hits some weird like buffering snags and a couple of weird visual glitches when I try playing it in 4K. Man, the texture of that rock is not. Uh, not great, to be honest. Railing. Awesome. Rock. Blurry mess. Um, I really like the sun effect here. Although I do miss the dynamic weather that Stone Ship had. This just makes it look like it's going to... Uh, that it had in the real mist, I should say. Not in the original, obviously. This just makes it look like, oh, there is a storm coming, but it will never arrive. I guess because they can't do the dynamic lighting thing, Ni dynamic weather would also be hard. I'm guessing that means there's just there's just a lot of like, like these shadows are probably all pre-baked. Which makes sense, considering you know, the game has to be able to run without ray tracing. Alright, so we only need one of the pages. I think in this version of the game you can actually get back anyway. 
If I remembered the... Um... No, you need to go there anyway. What I, if I remembered the uh, direction, I wouldn't need to go up here. But I don't. Oh, I don't... Okay. I can just point this with the mouse. I don't even have to turn the thing. 135 degrees. Um, I can take a picture, right? Yes. In case I forget... The fact that uh, there's no note-taking capability in the VR mode is also a big problem and really something they need to fix for mists, assuming that's also going to be VR. I hope it will be. Uh, uh, for Riven, I mean. Because, you know, Riven, a lot harder. People are going to want to take notes. And I really, really hope they bring back the seamless switching between VR and screen mode that Abduction did. Well, we'll see, I guess, how uh, Firmament will work. That should come out not too long from now. Like, 2023, I think, is what they said. I have not looked at anything for Firmament. I do not read the the, for the the Kickstarter backer updates. I don't look at any of the videos they post. I did the same thing with Abduction. It is honestly the only way to do this for me. I know nothing about Firmament. I did play the original tech demo, which, you know, doesn't really tell you much other than the little hexagon thingy that you can send places. But, um... Uh, because it's just I was curious about that. Um, and I got it with, as part of the backer uh, rewards, but I don't know anything else about it. Because that's how I like it. Okay, that's the... That's the ship, we don't need that yet. Um... I did that with Abduction. I had never ever seen any images other than like the big promo image, which is like Hunraf with uh, the house. That's down here, right? Yes, yes it is. We don't need lights to go down here. Cirrus is room. I think probably the one that looks the most closest to the original mist in terms of like the render quality. I think they also randomized the location of the pages in at least when you're playing the random mode. Not sure if that's true normally. I don't remember where the page was in the original version of mist. Now it's here. Oh, I need to click the button. Cool little p things that were, you know, so amazing back in the day are now kind of humdrum. Yes, you can spin a globe. It's not that impressive nowadays. Coins. There was some stuff you could pick up in VR. I don't remember if this was among it or not. Just got candles. Here. Who keeps those lit? Should have been fire marbles, I guess. Would have made more sense. Okay, I can barely see where I'm going, but... Uh Up here somewhere. And even though I don't think we have to, let's go get uh, Akinar's page too. Help? Okay. Nope, I'm going back up. I've lost my way. There we go.
creepy Akinar room vibes. What's even the point of having ray tracing if you don't have any dynamic shadows? I haven't really seen any reflections either so far. Where's this page? Oh, this is the Skull Rose, isn't it? Yes. Page? Blue page? No, I already looked in there. Oh, there's... Ah, there's more. I'd, that's hard to see. I thought it was on the bed in the original, so maybe they do randomize the page locations. Even if you're not on randomized mode. Okay. This is just too dark. Maybe I need to turn my screen brightness up. Of course you could do this after turning the power on, but... You know. I'm very happy they let you take both of the pages. Although, the whole magical, they just teleport to mist thing is a bit, uh, disappointing to me. Um, this should be the, the lighthouse, which is what I want. Gotta empty the barrel. Or the chest in the original. I still like this puzzle. It's nice use of a little physics concept that makes perfect sense. Just put my Put my umbrella in um, in second gear. All right, we have a key. Which gives us another key. Which, wait. What? This is already open. But it's not letting me do anything. Why is this already open? I cannot climb the ladder. Keep on the hit space, you know, because jump. But that's not a thing here. Is there somewhere I can just click? Oh yeah, this is different. Ah, I forgot. Maybe my monitor is too dark because I could barely see that. Yeah, there's a keyhole here and it's actually hiding the ladder. It's not that it's shut. That's right. They changed that. The fact that this ladder is hidden was also a lot more obvious in VR. Okay. Like, this is just such a shame that, you know... They couldn't give us an actual lighting transition there. No, we just... Fade to black. I hope that kind of thing is not going to happen in Riven. Although, I think you actually have to be kind of quick with this. Yeah, that runs down pretty fast.
I remember having to do ladder skip in VR to make it. Um, Alright, now we can see where we're going. And we can hopefully see our secret passage somewhere. Forget where it is exactly. Oh, there it is. Mm, it's fairly obvious. Still have never figured out whether or not this is hooked up correctly in this version of the game. There's north. So, 135 degrees is, um... That one, I hope? Yes. It appears to be correct. Because you remember my whole thing in, um, Real Mist, that the passages were backwards. I have not yet verified if that is true in this version. Hi there, fishies. I mean, I can't really tell if the ray tracing does anything in particular with, like, the glass here. Can I turn ray tracing off without the having to restart the game? That's a good question. Um, no, I can't. I will not bother then. Would like to have seen the difference, but um, not if I need to restart the game. That's kind of annoying. Um, all right, we've got lights for the ship now, so we can head back to Mist. Oh, forgot to hit the button. There we go. That's better. I mean, I don't know how much difference ray tracing makes. It looks pr pretty is the most important part, I guess. That's all we can really ask for. I'm kind of happy they got rid of the magically appearing book because it never really fit in with the rest of the mist lore. I haven't decided yet if this is just going to be a long video or um, several videos. Up oh, Tiana's grave. I haven't seen it yet. Um, let's see. What shall we do next? Um. How about mechanical? Yes, let's go to mechanical next. Well, we already know the answer to this, obviously. Um, it is faster to go the other way, which I just forgot. Because I looked that up for the speed run. Do I remember the code though? It's like 223 or something, isn't it? Alright, so that's the bottom ones. And then the middle. That's the top, and then the middle. Um, if it is too... I need to reset. It 
Wait, how do I reset? Ooh. And close the door. I thought it was yet to click on that. Oh no, it's here. There's the lever. Man, I'm blind today. Um It is not 223. I am so wrong about that. Because that's way too easy. Is it 233? Um, I guess it was 221. Because <laughs> that just happened by sheer accident. Because, yeah, that suddenly made an awful lot of noise and music and stuff, so I'm assuming that was the correct solution. 221. Oh, here's the page. We've already done that, of course. Would have made the speedrun definitely easier if you could just go down here, like you can in Real Mist, but not so here. Oh, talking about puzzle solutions that I don't remember. This one. I absolutely do not recall what the uh, code is for this. Some nice, nice god rays, I guess. No, I have no clue. Quite like the type of rock formations they went with here. Kind of reminds me of uh, Amateria. So I guess we are going to have to rotate the, for the fortress to get that code back. Or, you know, I could just look it up. Um... We're not going to bother trying to look at the black ship pirate, though. Sirs in the anachronistic painting is still there. And there's our red page. We would be done. Sirs, your greed sickens me. Your desire for wealth and plunder is never satisfied. I will instruct my subjects not to pay your new tax, and you know they'll listen to me. Regards, Akinar. The regards, Akinar part just feels like it's way too... You could definitely pick some of this stuff up in VR. Not so in the, this version. Incredibly flat-looking coins with tiny numbers on them. Um... That's not what I'm trying to do. Amazing. Um, let's go get the blue page. We don't have to, but I can. Plus, who would want to see Akinar's room? Oh wait, nobody wants to see Akinar's room. That's right. Um, still gonna do it. Is that a real snake? I still don't know. Um, that's a very obvious button. They couldn't have left it a human head. It's kind of a shame. I mean, not that I want him to be killing humans, but it does make this less creepy, you know? Save the environment. Turn off your torture chambers when you're not using them. 
Um. Alrighty. Um, do I remember the sounds? Gotta unlock it and then move. Springy sound for east. I know north is the bell. A little ting sound for north. West is the other springy sound. Or the, yeah, the, I don't really know how to describe these sounds. You can turn on subtitles for those. Oh, what the? And the cowbell for south. Yes, I did remember that. Um, which directions do we actually need to face? I forget which direction this is, but we need to go the opposite direction and 90 degrees um, counterclockwise. And this, of course, is where I had a pretty major glitch. In the original, and there's just too many buttons that don't work. Why does this one work, but not the one on the other side? Um, excuse me? Did I not click it hard enough? Apparently I didn't click it hard enough. I thought it was weird that that didn't work. Alright, gotta line these up. So the elevator will work. There we go. Let's hope nobody will be falling out of elevators today like I did in VR. See which direction we are currently facing south, so we need to go east and north. That's east. I like how this version of Plague Through is basically. How many puzzles do I remember? <laughs> um, doesn't matter which way I go. Let's take a look. Got it? And of course, we've got to go north now.
Good thing there's not a 100% speed run that I'm trying to do. Because that would just be annoying. Oh, that was definitely not long enough. Ding, microwave's done. Wait, what kind of microwave makes that kind of ding? Not one I've ever had. Alright, well so far I haven't fallen through the elevator or gotten stuck, so... We'll call that a win. Alright, that's the rest of our coat. Now we need to go back south. We're not going to bother with west because we don't have to. And it just wastes time. Oh, don't need to push that button. Is this the order I used of ages? I think I did in the VR part, where I uh, also did mechanical second. All right, now we gotta go two, so I guess I'll hold it a little longer. Nope, that's east again. I guess I held it too long. That's west. And we're back south. I wanna... I wish this was Uru and somebody could do this while I'm standing outside to see the fortress rotate because it has to be going pretty damn quickly. I just want to see that. It takes it like, what, three seconds to rotate 90 degrees? That seems pretty big for a structure, of, uh, pretty fast for a structure of this size. At least to me. then what do I know? I'm not a dunny. I don't have their technology, I guess. All right, um, photo album. Let's hope you can actually see this now. Oh, all my old photos are still here. Uh, that wouldn't have helped because these were the random ones. It's kind of cool to see though, how different it was last time. So last time, that's not what I wanted to do. Yep, this was the safe code last time, but it's uh, not going to help us this time. Um, all right. So I need the uh, partial circle. Those three. The mountains with the sun and the left half circle. See if I can remember that. There we go. All this effort for an achievement. Oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't know that would happen. They just all stack up here. 
So yeah, six will fit, and six is the number of pages there is. So the full bookshelf is what will give us the achievement. Okay, um, let's go to Selenitic last, uh, next then. So 59 volts. Is what it is, if I remember. 54 in the last playthrough we just saw. But that was random, and this is not. And. Shutting the door makes no difference here, I don't think. Okay, we just gotta get this to 59. Which I do not remember how to do exactly. We're just gonna try. And we broke it. That's way too high. 55. 64. How much does this give us again? 66. No, that one's useless. Um... Uh, Actually, maybe it's easier to do this with the really high ones first. And we just need to get 10 more. That's way more than 10. Oh, there we go. That does the trick, I guess. Now we just gotta reset the breaker. And if I got that right, It should work. Watch it not be fifty nine. It is. I was pretty sure about that. But, you know. Um, I do not remember the piano piece. Gotta look in the journal. Selenitic. Alright. Let's take a picture just in case. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I need to take a picture. Because, yeah, that, I'm not remembering that. You know, maybe I'd be able to reproduce it by ear. Because I remember sort of what it sounded like, I think. Probably not well enough, though. Alrighty, let's take a look. What have we got? Um, that's a weird... Why is this ordering so weird? It's like... I took this picture after these two. Why is this here? Anyway... Mm. Okay, so it, it's, it's C, C, D sharp, F, A sharp. So, um... Don't really need to pay that much attention to sound this time because it's they've made it kind of easy. 
with the notches being the black and white keys. Um, which is which? I guess the left has to be the... the white keys, right? Because it's the only one that has two in a row. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So that's the first C. That's the second C. And then we need to find F. So that's C, D, E, F. And A sharp. Yep, that did it. They made this puzzle so much more accessible with that. And I think you can actually, you can turn on like game subtitles, I think, where you will get subtitles for sounds. Which, uh, Like, gameplay context subtitles. I think if I turn that on, we should be seeing, um... I mean, this is pretty... It definitely isn't as, you know, awe-inspiring as it was in VR. This just looked so amazingly cool in VR. Here it's cool, but, you know, not that spectacular. Alright, I also don't remember the original sound order. I don't remember the one from my VR playthrough either, <laughs> even though I repeated it like a million times. There's a blue page. T Water running is our game context subtitle. Kind of interesting to see what it calls all these sounds, actually. <laughs> Let's turn all the microphones on, of course, is the first thing we need to do here. Lava rumbling. Well, hard to argue with that. There's definitely some lava rumbling there. Broken clock sounds. This is what's going to be like wind whistling or something. Ethereal crystal sound. Sure, why not? Alright, got the red page. Is this going to be like wind blowing then? Yes, wind blowing. Well, I guessed one of them at right, at least. Oh, right. Lights. Bats. A good thing this isn't Crash Bandicoot. Because those bats would have killed me. Um. Static. That is accurate. I don't remember exactly what is where. 
There's the clock, so we should be hitting the water soon. There it is, somewhere. Nope, lava first. Alright, lava. Wait, am I going the wrong way? That is, don't think it really matters. You're like basically opposite direction anyway. Um, that's the water, right? No, there's lava. I'm guessing that you don't need to get it exactly right because if you are doing this by subtitles, it does not tell you that there's still static in it. So you should be okay, I guess. That's the clock. Oh, that's pretty close. To the ethereal crystal sound, apparently. And that one's pretty much the opposite direction again. Uh, I wonder if the starting positions are randomized in the... in the uh, randomized uh, option. Crystal, water, wind, lava, clock. So, crystal, water, wind, lava, clock. Crystal, wind, water, lava clock. If I forget, I will just look it up this time. Uh, oh, did I just turn that off? No, it's just dark regardless now. How does that make sense? Um... Crystal wind, water, lava clock is, I believe, what it was. Let's hope so. My memory isn't what it used to be. Um, this will make this a lot easier because you don't have to really listen. Crystal wind water Loopy sound, train horn, rocket firing, electric zap, lava, crash sound, and the clock. Mm, I guess that was wrong. Did I reverse water and wind? Yes, yes I did. Alright, remember some of these underground portions looking really cool in VR? That was a weird transition there, just loading I guess. Um, <laughs> running into some drawing distance issues with the light. Um, again, it looks cool, but you know, nothing beats VR. Riven in VR is going to be so amazing. I do not remember the original route to the maze, but obviously, since I know the sounds, it does not matter. Um, how do we go down? I forget. Oh, yeah, we're closing. You have to close the door. That's right.
All right, we'll get there eventually. Clink sound is apparently what North is. So North we shall go. I might edit this out considering how long the maze is. Spin sound is uh, West. I would call it a spring or a chirp sound. I guess. Chirp sound, not a spin sound, but I guess canonically it's a spin sound. Who knew? Then we go north again, I remember that. Having the uh, exhaust sound. Okay, never would have called that. Um, Having the audio clues on like that definitely makes it much easier to realize that you should be paying attention to the sounds because otherwise they wouldn't be shown there. And we keep going east. Although, of course, that does not help you if you have not been to sell uh, a uh, mechanical before. This was surprisingly not really motion sickness inducing. I guess because in VR because of the small viewport, I guess. Although, um, um, that's west, right? Yeah. It should be said that nowadays I play quite a few racing games in VR. And I'm fine with that. I think it's the fact that you are actually controlling it yourself that makes that easier. Because I have, you know, a racing seat and a steering wheel set up. Cowbell and spin, which makes it south um, west. That's the wrong way. Uh, West, which is again the wrong way. I compasses are hard. Um, so like, I can't really do a game like Abduction or Mist in walking mode. It like makes me really motion sick. But yeah, in a racing game where you have like a cockpit view, like Formula One, uh, really spin and clink. So that is um, north west. Like if, uh, like F1 2020's uh, Formula One, if, uh, virtual reality view is fine with me because you're like buried in the car, you don't have a lot of uh, visibility or something like a set of Corsa Competizione. Clink and exhaust, so that is north east. Like you're in the in a game like ACC, you're in the cockpit of the car. You only your view is limited by the windscreen, so you still have some limitations to how much you can actually see. But it's definitely way more than this. But I'm still fine with it because, yeah, I think it's easier when you're controlling it yourself. Because it's like I'm much more prone to motion sickness if I'm watching an, a replay in ACC in VR than actually driving myself. Exhaust and cowbell. So that is southeast. Oh, wait. That was southeast.
And I think we're close to the end now. I love playing racing games in VR. It's like the closest you could get to actual, you know, racing if you don't, you know, own a racing car and race in real life. It is probably combined with a steering wheel and, you know, a decent seat. It is one of the most immersive applications of VR you can get, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, we're here. This was, I remember, very pretty in VR, and uh, it's nowhere near as pretty <laughs> in screen mode, ray tracing or not. I, the, one, the thing that made this so nice looking is you could really tell the depth in these crystals, like the, the patterns you have inside the crystal were clearly like embedded in the crystal and they had depth to them which you cannot tell in screen mode very easily that made them look very pretty and then here you had you know the lava glow and reflections okay I, I'll give you the reflections definitely work better probably because of the the uh, ray tracing yeah, this is still pretty cool looking. I have to say... And we're back! With another page to go on the shelf that we will not look at. I didn't even know the pages did this. Because I would always, you know, collect one, then put it in the book. So I would never have found this achievement by myself. Because, yeah, these are secret achievements, the three that I'm doing. And, um... I... Um, just look them up. Because nobody got time for that. It's surprising that the speedrun achievement is... is secret. Because, what, you're supposed to just... go speedrun and hope you do it within two minutes and that's how you're... Um, that's how you're supposed to get it? That seems kind of strange. Okay, we're gonna have to do some tower rotation because I do not remember the safe code. I have to turn this on. Oh yeah. To pull that, to not click the painting in this version. Usually speedrun achievements aren't, you know, secret. Usually it's stuff that would be spoilers that is secret. Or stuff you're Oh. Or stuff that's at least, you know, possible to find by accident. I don't see how you could ever find this one. Because <laughs> it just doesn't make... I forgot to rotate the tower. It's a shame that this elevator doesn't twist anymore. I forgot to do the thing that was the thing we needed to do. Um, Alright, tree, there you go. Ah, I was like, can I see it move? But my door was closed, so no. Um, Yeah, because anybody who plays this normally would be looking at the pages and therefore wouldn't even realize that they stack on the shelf. Unless just for fun, are you, uh... 
Yeah, I guess the elevator turning in the original mist was supposed to hide the fact that the ladder was always in front of you, or explain it, I guess. So it would be like, oh, the ladder turned, so... Uh, sorry, the... Like, the elevator turned, so it's lined up with the tower, even though the tower turned. But here, it's actually different, as you can see, because we had the key thing in front of us before, and now the... The book is... And um, this is still obviously an image that we're looking at, not the real thing. Which in VR was very obvious and kind of disappointing, honestly. Would have been fun to uh, actually have a, this vantage point in VR. 724, there's our save code. Okay, just because... I don't want to have to go back here in case I, like, get it wrong or somehow don't remember. One more age to go. We're making fairly short work of them. Not as short as I'd like. Um, for, you know, just an achievement hunt. And like I said, I don't care about achievements at all. Normally, I don't do this. I think the only other games that I've ever 100%ed for myself were Mass Effect 2 and 3. And that was more just because I wanted to play them on Insanity. And then I kind of naturally ended up getting all the achievements anyway. I guess I did all the multiplayer challenges in Mass Effect 3. That sort of counts. Hello? Door? Okay. It's like you can click on it, but you're actually still too far away to click on it. And I say for myself, because my wife loves 100%ing games, so I do help her with that. Uh, but that's on Xbox. No more Book of Matches. Just an ignition switch for the pilot light. Now, this was somewhat annoying because of the timing, I remember, in VR. How much force is behind this? Like, lifting this giant tree up cannot be easy. I think going up here was an achievement. But... We don't need to do that now. Alright, so I want to put it down so it starts dropping. Is it already? Or is that just the door? No. That was just a wheel, I guess, I'm hearing. But the sound was kind of delayed. Oh, it just keeps playing that when you're while you're holding down the left mouse button. Okay, that's even if you're not actually moving it, that's weird. There we go, we're seeing a pressure drop. Okay, I think I can go a little faster than that. Try that. Because this is not as hard to get to in time as in VR. <laughs> there we go. Imagine doing the speedrunner achievement on in VR. Although actually teleporting might not make that too difficult. Doing it on controller. Like, especially the fireplace coat. That would be a pain. I feel bad for people trying to do this on console. Mm. 
All right, almost there. Yep, there we go. And here we can control the boiler again, so we can go back up if we want to. But we don't. I like this. This is a cool little room that, you know, is new for this version. It's very fitting with the... With the... Uh, like the actual theme of uh, Channel Wood. Still wish what one day we would get that actual version of Mist that is like canonical to the changes they've told us about later. With like more obvious like living spaces on Mist, whether underground or elsewhere. This has always been a pretty age and still is. Do I remember where the windmill is? It's over there. It would be so cool to get a... Hi, Froggy. And he jumped in the water. Um, yeah, it would be cool to get a version of Mist that is like more like true to life, I guess. Pipe water flowing. Okay, well, we don't really need that. That's just annoying. Um, still good they do it for people who need it, but I don't, so. We'll turn those subtitles back off. Um, okay. We need you to go that way. Get this set up because we can. Got to extend you. This is the mist book, right? Yeah, it is. So we don't need that yet, but hey, we've done it. That's what counts. No. That is not where we're going. Um, I think the elevator's over here somewhere. There it is. That's actually mostly set up correctly. Just needed to flip the one lever. Very creaky. Doesn't seem particularly safe, but uh, you know, safety has never been Atrus's strong suit. I'm honestly astonished that these have handrails. Probably the tree dwellers doing, not Atrus. Um, okay, we gotta go to the center here and hit the button. Which is a pain in the original version.
because of how hard it is to see where you're going. But in this version, not so much. So we can literally just look and see, oh, like it's over there. And then I'm still going to manage to go the wrong way, because of course I am. No, I think I actually got this right. Yep. Got it. Now we can go down the world's most spirally spiral staircase at running speed. <laughs> this is very disorienting. Alright, got to open that. Then we've got to redirect the water over here. And then we're almost done. Go up, go up, go up, go up even more. Alright, um, and then we go up yet even further. Exciting, isn't it? Again, this was very cool in VR just because of the views you get when you're up high, and you can actually tell that you're up high. It looks cool here, but it just isn't the same. Once you go VR, you just can't go back to normal gaming. It's like so disappointing. I mean, it's not entirely true, obviously. I still enjoy gaming normally, but you cannot beat VR. Alright, well, this is the only actual glimpse of the brothers we're getting, considering we are not using any of the pages. And here we can uh, see Cirrus as well. I think it's the last one. I hope I push the right button. Very interesting device. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> I'm still very happy that they gave us the option to go back to the original videos, at least for these bits. One of these is Rush Limbo Understands. Of course, well-known easter egg. Um, I forget which one though. No, it won't let you close this from this side. It seems like that should be easily possible, but... Also seems like it would be easily openable from this side, but... It just won't let you. Alright, we don't technically need to, but let's go check in with... Cirrus? Uh, who can forget Cirrus' room in this age in my VR playthrough where we made the amazing discovery of Cirrus' toothbrush and cup. The most epic moment in any of my Let's Plays ever. At least I guess we should be happy to learn that he brushes his teeth. Um, where is that page? Wait, did I even get the blue page? 
I was so occupied with the vice that I honestly don't remember if I actually <laughs> like remember to get the blue page. I think I did, right? Yeah, I did. I must have because I don't see it anywhere. Mm. Anyway. Now, we just gotta get the two pages from the fireplace, and then we can finally get this achievement. Or technically only one of them. First, you gotta head back to Mist, of course. That we have already done the legwork to make that possible. Back down the spiral staircase of doom. Well, not really. The spiral staircases of doom are definitely all in King's Quest. Um, this one you can't fall off, so. It just makes you dizzy. Okay, gotta get the water over to the... Mist elevator. Which I assume is down this way somewhere, not here. Um, that's that again. We don't need that. Where is the opposite end of that pipe? Oh, it's here. It's here, okay. Alright, so it actually needs to be directed over there. Let you do the trick. Can't even click on the original switches. Have to use the levers. Yep, that's working. And we just need to go all the way around. Across the bridge that we extended earlier. Now we can go up here. This really doesn't seem very well thought out. If there's ever multiple people in this age. Because, like say, Cyrus and Aknar are both here. And then uh, Aknar is up in his room. And then Cyrus decides to leave, so he redirects the water over here so he can get to the mist book. And now the elevator from the top level doesn't work anymore, <laughs> so Aknar's trapped. So better hope there's somebody else here that they can yell down like, Hey, turn the water back on. Alrighty. We almost have a full bookshelf. That is not what we're doing. We're going in the fireplace. Um. Well, we should have this go down by now. You would hope, at least. I like it, it's either, I think it's in real mist where you can just like swipe the mice, mouse down, but it doesn't work in this version. It would have made the, the achievement a little easier. All right, I assume we just need to put them on the shelf before we can, uh... ...get the achievement. 
There we go. Achievement unlocked. Stack overflow. Why? It could easily go there. Why is it up there? I mean, that makes the name of the achievement make more sense, but that would have worked better. Oh, it can't go there because the book opens that way. Okay, yeah, I get it. Alright, so it is actual stack overflow because there's no space for the final page. Because, yeah, with it open, it doesn't work. Alright, and that is it. We don't need to do the ending because we already did that. When doing the first achievement, the uh, know-it-all achievement. And that means that I now have 26 out of 26 achievements. Yay, fake internet points. I've got them. Well, that is it for today then, and for this video, which I will probably end up splitting into two parts considering it's almost two hours long. Although I have to edit some stuff out from the speedrun attempts, but that won't be too much. Anyway, just a little look back into Mist here, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. This very quick run through of Mist is not the way I normally play games. I do not like speedrunning. It's also part of the reason why I don't really like, you know, like horror or suspense games that where you're like you can't look around. Like game like Resident Evil, I like I like. The idea of Resident Evil, but I would like it better if there weren't zombies, so I could actually take my time <laughs> to look around places, rather than have to, like, sneak and run away and worry about stuff. Um, anyway. But this was a very quick look at screen mode. It is, as we've determined, quite pretty. Um, doesn't quite have the charm of the original, but then nothing does. I do miss the dynamic daylight and uh, weather that real mist had as well. I guess it's a limitation of how the engine works, and I really hope that will not be the case for um, Riven, because that would be really cool to see with some like added day-night cycles. I'm not sure if they're going to do that though. Very excited for that. Very excited for Firmament as well. I um, will be Let's Playing Firmament, of course, after I've played it myself. I don't want to do a blind Let's Play of something like that. Um, and I don't know if there's any going to be anything else in the meantime. I, I just don't have the, t the amount of time that I used to nowadays. To make these things, I'll uh, make them when I can, of course. Firmament is going to be a thing. Riven will be Let's Played as well once that remake comes out. Um, and anything else in between is going to be a bonus. Well, that's uh, it for me then. And I'll see you in the next video. Whenever that might be.